Hey everybody, Hans here with Listings Magic and new update for you guys regarding social media posting and speed, efficiency, effectiveness, getting your listings out there to all the various social media platforms that you need to get it to in a very streamlined manner. And so let me show you how you access it and get to the how to. So you're gonna to go to manage properties. We're gonna also have it under the account dashboard on the account main page. It'll be there shortly. It's just kind of in beta testing right now. So you'll find it there later. Um, around in this area here. But right now we're gonna do manage properties and I'm gonna show you how quickly, how easily you can get your listings shared, you know, doing it manually. You can automate this process, but for those of you that want a little more control and wanna see what it looks like, uh, that's what you're gonna do here. So we're gonna choose the listing you wanna choose and submit. And you're going to go to option four. So it's gonna be under the same area if you've, if you've shared the listings manually before you'll see under option four, the new posting tool. The old posting methods are still there and they're individual, but we're gonna choose this one and it'll all make sense as to why when you see how fast and easy it is here in a few seconds. And so once you get here, you can still change the property. And so we'll uh, give you the option to change it, but it's gonna use this listing here. And now we're gonna choose the photo that we want to select and share. And you can see it's a plain photo right now. It's just the main photo from the MLS or if you uploaded it yourself. But now you can add some photo text. So if it's a new listing, just listed. If it's a price reduction that you're wanting to announce, you can do that. So we're gonna do just listed. And then you can choose where you want the text to be located. You want it to be short, by the way, because you'll see how it works here. You don't wanna put a big description or anything long here. Otherwise it'll look really, it just won't work. Uh, so top left, Top right, bottom left, bottom right, all options available. I'm gonna leave it as top left. You can do branded or unbranded. If you do the branded, you don't want the uh, banner to be on the bottom, and I'll show you why. So we're gonna choose the default options that are here, and you'll see what we end up doing with that. And so here is the branded photo just listed across the top left, and there's your branding in place, contact information, some information on the property if there is some in the back end and then now you're going to see all the various social media sites that we have connected to your accounts and if you haven't connected them you'll need to connect them this is very common this is exactly what many other sites do you need to basically give permission to our application to post on your behalf so if these are in red I've connected them all in this demo account if these are in red you would click on connect and you will be able to make that connection you don't have to do this every time because that would be not time savings. It would be uh, time consuming. This is uh, a one-time thing. Once you do that, you are all set to go. And so we're going to take a couple of emoticons and we're going to put them in the description here because here's your property description. You can change and update that. Uh, keep in mind, you may want to shorten this just because sometimes the posting tool or the posting sites might see something in the text that they don't like. So we've noticed that, but. I'm going to go ahead and keep this as is because I'm pretty sure this is going to be fine. It's not that long. And then here are the sites that you're posting to, Facebook, Instagram, Google, LinkedIn, Twitter. And then now what Facebook pages, because if you notice, if you turn off Facebook, those go away. If you turn off Instagram, they go away. But as soon as we select them, we now have options underneath that. So now I want to choose, and I manage a lot of Facebook pages. So I'm going to deselect many of these. I'm just going to choose two to show you how we can post a multiple and then I'm going to show you how we can post to multiple Instagram pages and then LinkedIn and Twitter and Google are all just single sites. So those are all fine. And then lastly, where do you want us to send an email showing you all of the sites that are completed so you can share that with your uh, seller? So that's the default email on the account. You can put in any email you want here. Uh, once that's done, you send to social sites and that is it. So in literally under two minutes, you know, I explained a lot but you can literally get all of your listings posted in under two minutes. So you can see behind the scenes, it's doing all the posting. Last one to complete is Instagram, should be done here shortly. And there you go. You've got your listings on all these different sites, some of them with multiple sites. The Listings Magic fan page, let's take a look at that. There's the listing there, situated mid-block, da-da-da. There's a beautiful photo. We'll close that down. Let's look at it on Instagram. There it is on Instagram. Same information, got the little cute emoticons. Again, don't forget those. Those are a little more engaging. And then you have it on Google My Business. And 
there it is as well. And then you have it on LinkedIn. And then finally on Twitter. So literally in about, uh, I could say once you get familiar in under a minute, you can figure out how to get this listing on all of the social media sites that you are set up with. So let me show you the email though. So now the other part that's really cool is now you can actually share this with your clients and you can say, Jane Realtor, that's the demo account. Here are the links that we created. Feel free to share this with your sellers. And as you scroll down, you will see that there, and I've, I've posted a couple of times. There's a few different options or a few different links that are here and we'll keep storing those by the way. So if you do post it multiple times, we will keep those in the back end. but now you can see, you can actually access all those links that we just created. So that's the new tool. I'm going to do a re quick recap. You're going to go to manage properties. Let's go back here. Manage properties. Choose the listing you want to work on. Actually, you don't even need to do that. If you just go here and you'll see, we click on option four, social media posting, fast post tool. You'll see that it's going to give us the option to change the listing even there on that screen. So if you decide you want to post multiple, so you're on this page and you're like, all right, I already posted St. Paul. I want to do Franklin Street now. You can do that as well. Let's say there's a status change on this one. Let's just say that the price reduced as an example or under contract, whatever you want. You're going to choose that photo. Say you don't like that photo, you want to choose a different one, no problem, you can do that as well. But I'm going to keep that one. And I'll just show you a couple of different options while I'm in here. So this would be a now under contract. And then let's put it in the bottom left, but we're not going to make it branded. Just to show you how things can look different. Oh, I said branded. I meant to do not branded. Now you can see why that's a problem. So now we'll update that. Now you can see a non-branded version under contract. Boy, it's a cute little cottage house looking thing. And then same thing. Come in, put some emoticons in, choose which sites, and you're off to the races. So uh, thanks for watching. That's our new social media sharing tool. Let us know your thoughts, give us feedback, support at listingsmagic.com, and we'll talk to you soon.